Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us today. You know, it's especially important for those considering becoming pregnant to know that every year here in the United States, thousands of infants are born with neural tube defects, defects like spina bifida. Our guest today is a former co-host on The Doctors, Dr. Lisa Masterson. She's an expert in the area of obstetrics, gynecology, infertility, and family planning. And she's here today to talk about the role that folic acid plays in preventing NTDs. Welcome to the program, Doctor. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Now, NTDs, um, spina bifida, I mentioned it. Are there other NTDs? Um, anencephaly, which is, uh, mm-hmm. you know, involves the brain, and hydrocephalus. And, and so those are, there is a wide spectrum of things that involve mm-hmm. the, um, the neural tube defects. But you hit right on it. Folic acid is, you know, can really decrease the risk of neural tube defects or NTDs. Mm-hmm. And so it is so important that women know that they should be, if they're of childbearing age, that they should be taking a multivitamin with folic acid. All women should be taking a multivitamin oh. with folic acid um, to help prevent neural tube defects because we know that half of uh, the pregnancies in the United States are unplanned. So ideally, in an ideal situation, it would be great if women who were planning to get pregnant would go to their doctor and get a preconception consultation and Mm -hmm. we could individualize their care if they had special needs, like they needed to make lifestyle changes ahead of time or we need to switch their their medicine, then Mm -hmm. that could be done then. But a lot of times that doesn't happen and we know that um, folic acid is a huge player in neural tube defects and so if women would either get the preconception counseling, you know, if they can do that ideally, or just at least all women of childbearing age arm themselves with a multivitamin with folic acid. Are there other steps that uh, can be taken to help prevent NTDs? Yes, folic acid, a lot of the you know, cereals are, are folic acid fortified, and that's to help. But what we know is that you can't guarantee the dosage that you're going to get of folic acid just from um, your diet. And so that's why it is still so essential for women to, um, to take actually um, a multivitamin with a certain amount of folic acid, which is the standard dosage. Now, it, actually, if they have a higher risk of neural tube defects because of their family history, if they had a previous child with neural tube defects, if they have diabetes, if they're obese, if they have malabsorption disorders, um, then, or if they take seizure medication that decreases the mm-hmm. absorption of folic acid, then they actually need to take a higher dosage of, um, of folic acid. And that's one reason why I'm really thrilled to be here today um, with Duchenne USA and talk about Imperity Folic 5 because it actually has a, a higher dosage. And a lot of women don't realize, and that's again why if we can get them into the doctor before they actually get pregnant and they can mm-hmm. plan, they may not realize that they're at higher risk and actually need a higher dosage of um, folic acid than the standard to prevent neural tube defects. You know, this uh, this month, the, all the way from the, the 8th through the 14th of this month, has been designated as Folic Acid Awareness Week, and we're here talking about the, uh, the importance of folic acid for the uh, preconception health. When is the best time to start uh, on the folic acid trail? I mean, are we talking adolescence, um, preteen, or, or when you're trying to get pregnant? Well, like I said, all women of childbearing age, so that's basically when a a girl starts her period, if there's a possibility of being pregnant, she should actually get on folic acid. Now, um, you know, the best window is to say a woman's like, you know, thinking about getting pregnant, then we advise at least two to three. So the least amount of time we'd really like is two to three months before she gets pregnant so that it gets in her system. So if she's planning to get pregnant and isn't on it, then she should, again, we really like her to be on it. To, to two to three months before she gets pregnant. And again, that's my, that's, you know, the reasoning behind, uh, you know, us doctors wanting you to go for a preconceptional consultation so that we can tell you what to start doing before you actually get pregnant. But, yes, childbearing age means, you know, from the time your period starts, so the, essentially the time your period stops. You should be taking a multivitamin with folic acid. In your experience, how long have we known about this uh, important connection you know, with folic acid as a preventative measure for NTDs? Oh, it's actually been for quite a while. I'm not sure, you know, I think we're just getting really good about getting it out to the public because I am still, you know, really always just uh, sort of surprised that, you know, I'll still have my friends um, as well as my patients who, you know, will, will come to me and they're, they're newly pregnant 
and, you know, ask me what they should be taking. And, I, you know, it's, it's, it, this is why I'm doing this today because, you know, it's, it's not too late for them in the rest of their pregnancy, but to prevent the neural tube defects which occur early in pregnancy, then you want to say, well, you should have actually started, you know, a, a prenatal vitamin or folic acid supplement at least two to three months ago for your ideal. But if you still want to be on it for the rest of, you know, uh, the pregnancy and the health of the pregnancies and the cellular development and all that. So it's, not, it's, it's never too late to start taking it. But as far as prevention for neural tube defects, you know, if you start it during the pregnancy, it's not, it's, it's not as beneficial as if you start it beforehand. Can an enhanced intake of folic acid uh, reverse maybe some of the uh, detrimental effects of, say, drinking or, or smoking in general, and especially during a pregnancy, or should those things be stopped regardless of whether your folic acid intake is increased or not? They should be stopped regardless, mm-hmm. yes. You definitely want to, even if you can decrease the amount of cigarettes that you smoke, ideally we want you to stop. And that's another reason why preconceptional counseling is really good, because we're there, again, to support pregnant women, to help them if they have, you know, alcohol addiction or a drug addiction or smoking, to, to help them, you know, stop those things safely um, and use alternative medication if we have to, to, you know, and be there as a support and not a judge. So it's really important that um, these lifestyle issues come up, that women feel comfortable in bringing them up so that we can help them, you know, ideally st- stop before they get pregnant, but even during pregnant, it actually helps the pregnancy as well. So, you know, it, 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 is, it is helpful in, in addition to having the folic acid. And I do understand that um, the, the checklist for preconception health does include avoiding contact with uh, toxic materials that could cause an infection at work or home. Now, is an infection part of the onset of any NTDs? Well, you know, the Zika virus has been associated with that. So, yes, mm-hmm. there are viral things that can um, that are associated with neural tube defects. So, uh, you know, and, and that's why a lot of people are just getting this awareness because of the Zika virus of neural tube defects when mm-hmm. really it's been something that's, you know, it's, it's been here all the time and something that we've been able to, this part of it, we've been able to prevent with folic acid. So, you know, if we're in a folic acid deficiency. So that's, again, it should just drive home how important it is for women of childbearing age to take a multivitamin with folic acid. Excellent information. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Dr. Lisa Masterson, women's health expert, in studio with us talking about the benefits of folic acid. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes and also listen in on SoundCloud.